Today we will be showing you how to use a graduated pipette. Now, before we begin, we must first clean and prime the pipette. In order to do this, you first rinse the pipette with distilled water several times, and then you also rinse the pipette with the solution that you are measuring several times. Now, Herbert will demonstrate how to use the pipette. Holding the pipette in the solution but not touching the bottom, Herbert squeezes the bulb and attaches it to the top of the pipette. You'll notice that once he has the solution in his pipette, he holds it with his forefinger on the top in order to control the amount he releases later. Having taken notice of the level in the pipette, Herbert subtracts the amount he needs in order to dispense that amount into the smaller beaker. While he is doing this, he is making sure that he is staying eye level to it so that he can get the proper measurement. Now we watch as Adil uses the graduated pipette. Just as Herbert did, Adil squeezes the bulb and uses it to draw liquid into the pipette. You'll notice that the solution is not coming from the main container, but is rather has been poured into a different beaker. This is done to avoid contamination with the main stock of the solution. Get an eye level to the pipette, Adil will now measure the amount that he needs for this particular experiment. He will do this by measuring the solution from the bottom of the meniscus. And this, the meniscus is the phase boundary that has been curved because of surface tension. In other words, it's just the crescent shape that is visible in the pipette. Since the pipette is accurate to the tenths place, Adil will record his data to the hundredths place in his notebook. Matt will now cover the rest of proper pipette and technique. Just as others did, Matt draws the solution into the pipette using the bulb. He will now determine the measurement of the liquid in the pipette. Holding at eye level, he measures it from the bottom of the meniscus. This is done so he can subtract the amount he needs from the initial volume and find the volume that he needs to release to in order to get his desired amount. When transferring solution, the finger technique is very important. The forefinger is used to control the release of solution out of the pipette like Adil is doing here. Matt will then release from the initial volume to the subtracted volume that he has calculated already. Keeping eye level and using proper technique is very important for accurate measurements. He then once again records the data in his notebook to the hundredths place. 